Hi everyone. I wanted to share with you today how to make this really quick and easy what I'm calling Grateful Heart card. I made this card using this stamp set, the Happy Scene stamp set. As you can see it's got a lot of scenes along with some nice sentiments to go along with it. And I also used the leaflet framelits. So let's get started. The first thing that you will want to do is stamp the fall scene from the Happy Scenes stamp set onto Whisper White cardstock using the Basic Black Archival Ink. I have already gone ahead and completed that and this is what I've got. The next thing that you'll want to do is using your Soft Sky ink and your Old Olive ink and a sponge dauber go ahead and color in the sky and the green for the grass. After you have colored in the soft sky for the sky and the old olive for the grass, then you'll want to take your pumpkin pie Stampin' Right marker and using the finer tip, color in the pumpkin or the three pumpkins. Once you've finished coloring in all of the little leaves and the pile of leaves and the falling leaves, you want to let that dry a little bit and we'll start building the card. To build the card, take the corrugated craft paper and attach it on to the pumpkin pie. I like to use the fast fuse adhesive. Um, I live in a humid area and the fast fuse just um, works keep, works great for the the area that I live in. Next we'll put some fast fuse on the back of the orange front panel and adhere it onto the Whisper White card base. Once again, all the measurements for this card will be on my blog at justdreamandstamps.blogspot.com. We'll want to adhere the pumpkin scene with some dimensionals. Stick it on about right there. We'll take the basic black archival ink and using the stamp from the Happy Scene stamp set that says thinking of you with a gratitude uh, with a grateful heart, we'll go ahead and stamp that onto some pumpkin pie cardstock, just like that using the washi label punch that's a new punch from Stampin' Up. We'll punch out that and we'll adhere it on with to this little piece of white whisper white cardstock. like that and then put some more fast fuse on the back and we'll adhere that centering it on to this card. We're almost done. Okay the next thing that we would want to do is I just had some dark brown buttons um, that I like to use for my craft things and I took some of the Stampin' Up! linen thread, threaded it through the button, and then we're going to go ahead and adhere it onto the card using a glue dot. We'll put it right here. And our card is almost done. The last thing that we'll want to do is using the stamp that says made just for you uh, from the Creatively Yours stamp set with by Stampin' Up. 
will ink ink up the stamp and stamp that right on the back. There we go. The card is done. Done. It's ready for you to give as a Thanksgiving card. It would also work with just a little bit different sentiment or even with the same sentiment as a sympathy card. Um, hope you've enjoyed making this card with me today. And once again, the measurements are on my blog at justdreamandstamps.blogspot.com or you can visit my online store at justdreamandstampinup.net. Hope to see you again. Thanks. Bye.